Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation. But remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 2 equals the square root of 4b. Well, to eliminate the square root, I need to square both sides. In doing so, 2 squared is 4, and it eliminates here the square root 4 times b. Right? 4b, 4 times b. To get b by itself, I have to divide by 4 to both sides, leaving me 4 divided by 4 is 1, equals b. I can rewrite this to make it nice and neat as b equals 1. Okay, But now I need to check. So in doing so, I write my original equation, 2 equals the square root of 4 times b. And then I'm going to plug this one in for b, so we have 2 equals 4 times 1. Alright, now we're going to simplify. 4 times 1 is just 4, square root of 4 here. Square root of 4 is 2, and there we go. 2 equals 2, my left and right side are equal, so we're good. So b equals 1 is my real answer. There's no extraneous solution. So let's, let's recap. We have 2 equals the square root of 4 times b. Limit the square root, I squared both sides. Then in doing so, I was left with 4 on the left equals 4b on the right. I then divided by 4 to eliminate the 4 on the right, uh, divided by 4 to both sides, leaving me with 1 equals b, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. And b was just here by itself, and that got 4 canceled out to be 1. I rewrote this to make it nice and neat to have b come first, so b equals 1. I then checked. Check to see if I had an uh, extraneous solution. So I took my original equation, I plugged 1 in for b, 4 times 1 was 4, square root of 4, right, is 2, left and right side are equal, fantastic, 2 equals 2, and so we're good now, there's no extraneous solutions, and so b equals 1 is my final answer.